Yes, y'all know what it is, man. It's the Earning Night Show Show. If you don't know now, yet no. Yeah, I mean the boys are back in town. The content kings. Yeah, I'm saying ISO himself and Earn. I ain't never. When the last time you said your full journey here, Isosceles Jackson. Last time you said that, probably never. Yeah, but we back at it, man. Yeah, I'm saying getting into this thing the way we get into it. At the time that you guys see this video, we, we, we surpassed that day. But happy belated Father's Day to all the fathers out there, man. Yeah, I'm saying happy Father's Day to y'all. But uh, let's get into the pod the way we normally get into the pod. How was your week? How was your weekend? Everything was lovely, man. Um, thank y'all for the love and support. Like I said, man, uh, um, the Patreon, the Patreon is up, which we had like a misstep because y'all go on there and say it only got one post on there. But by the time y'all see that, by the time y'all see this is Tuesday because I plan on dropping every Monday. So it'll be another, it'll be another post on there. It should be a few posts on there by the time y'all get this. Now I mean, so y'all go on there, and I'm saying, so hopefully y'all um, go ahead and join. Cause I looked on there myself to join, say one post. So I understand what everybody's saying. Like, yo, you ain't got nothing on here yet. Now I mean, while we join, you ain't got nothing on here yet. Now I mean, but we kind of um, we gonna we gonna get that together. Now I'm saying how that join, how it actually looks. I understand what y'all saying. Um. Yeah, so after we get that, you know what I mean, looking right, you know what I mean, rolling the way need to roll. Um, hopefully y'all 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 support us on support us on that. Like I said, um, we got some stuff to come on there too. Um, me and my brother, you know, no football season is is, is fastly approaching, so you know we gonna add expansion team and all that for y'all. And um. Just, man, thank y'all. Like I said, man, happy belated Father's Day to y'all. I know that it ain't. I mean, once again, just, just show that y'all are appreciated. A lot of y'all, the unsung heroes and all that, because it ain't as much, ain't as much, you know, hoopla and all that as Mother's Day. Like you said, you know what I mean? If you if you weren't reminded of it, you you, you wouldn't even feel like it was, it was Father's Day. You'd be done for God. You go in the stores I don't see a whole bunch of layout and all that for Happy Father's Day. You right. know what I mean? I don't even, I mean, I don't even see that. But you know, know what I mean, y'all are appreciated. A lot of y'all are helping raise, raise, raise these people. I mean, keep the peace. To everybody out there that's fathers, that's, now I mean, y'all might be uh, in the military serving this country right now. Y'all might be away from y'all kids. Know what I mean? For y'all kids that y'all fathers away. Know what I mean, serve, know what I mean, know what I mean serve, serve, serving this country and all that. You know what I mean? Um, just man, y'all, y'all, y'all just appreciate it, man. Y'all really appreciate it. You know what I mean? Cause sometimes people forget. You know what I mean, you take it for granted. Uh, you know what I mean, a lot of times y'all get taken for granted. And um, just I understand some. I understand that uh, a lot of times it is a thankless job. It is a thankless job, man. But it it needs to be done, and I. And I just say, you know, thank y'all. You know what I mean? Thank you to my father. Thank you. You know what I mean? Um, may may rest in peace, my uh my uh stepfather. I you know I don't I don't, I don't like saying his stepfather. I just like to say I was blessed to have two fathers. You know what I mean? But um, just thank y'all, man. Cause I know people. I mean, I I can. I mean, I'm not a father, but I can imagine how it feels sometimes. I can just feel. You just feel it in the air. Like it's not the same as when Mother's Day roll around. You know what I mean? But y'all job is is very, very, very important. You know what I'm saying? A lot of everything that go on kind of like stand, not, not I mean, is people standing on your shoulders and all that. You know what I mean? Without them, they wouldn't have no foundation. And, and y'all don't, y'all really don't get the credit of thanks for that. You know what I mean? Y'all really don't. So, you know what I mean? Just, man, thank y'all. Thank y'all for being fathers to some of these people. Some of y'all care about these people and a lot of these people, they not going to value you to, unfortunately, you're not here no more. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what I mean? And some of y'all, you know what I mean? And, and then they're going to really think that, hey, you know what I mean? That man really cared. Not, not me, father really cared about me. Or some of y'all, that stepfathers, man. That man really actually cared about me. So, mm -hmm. a lot of y'all, you know what I mean? Keep trucking and just, you know what I mean? Just let you know, here, earning ice, so we do. 
we do acknowledge, you know what I mean, that 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 y'all are needed and y'all are appreciated, man. I mean, I really want to let y'all know that because y'all don't, because I know, because you know, you know, you know, I I talk I talk to a lot of people, man. They don't feel they they just don't feel appreciated. They don't. They are taken for granted, even though they're not sitting around. You, you ain't gotta thank them every day and all that because they men. They do it because they supposed to do it. But yo, a lot of like I, man, a lot of y'all would not be able to function without. Without the men y'all got in y'all lives, y'all fathers, y'all stepfathers, y'all grandfathers, whatever, y'all uncles, you know what I'm saying? Some of y'all need to ask a lot, a lot of a lot of appreciation for them. So cause some of y'all, some of y'all wouldn't even be eating the goddamn day without them. Mm. Y'all go have to go the whole goddamn day with nothing to damn eat, literally. Mm. Y'all wouldn't even know where y'all next meal is coming from without some of these men out here. So, but then y'all don't, you know what I mean? They just don't appreciate that. So you know, man, just, just thank y'all for all y'all do, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, I thank y'all for all y'all do. That's what's up, man. Solid, man. You know what I mean? It's about time that men, you know what I mean, you know, shout out Father's Day to other men. You know I mean? Let's show each other the appreciation, you know what I mean, within the thing. Uh, <sighs> upcoming, man, just to let y'all know, for all my Roku, you know what I mean, TV subscribers and everything, you know what I mean, the earning ISO may pop up on your Roku channel, you know what I'm saying? So look out for us, you know what I'm saying? Uh, a lot of things that I've been I've been talking to other people that have like Roku apps and channels like that and uh our content may pop up there. Yeah, you know I mean a couple of things here and there just to promote what we doing, yeah. You know I mean to grow the Patreon from ISO versus the world, yeah you know I'm saying that he doing and certain things like that, yeah you know I'm saying. So if you see the Earn and ISO podcast out there, then you know, yeah you know I'm saying it's just to grow the audience that we trying to get here. Uh you know, like we always say, tell a friend, tell a friend, Earn and ISO did it again. Uh let's get into it, man. Part one went crazy. Part two went bananas. Part three, they loved it. Part four, <laughs> they they need it, but you know what I'm saying? They don't even know, man. So if y'all don't know, man, it's y'all crazy again. Part four, you know what I'm saying? And we're going to get into it again. You ready, bro? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I've been ready. I've been ready for a few days, ready. man. <laughs> see, years? Been, no, I've been ready for a few days, oh, man. I'm about to say, let me because, say years. Um, I'm going to say years. <laughs> um... <laughs> I'm not hating, but I'm noticing something. I mean, I noticed something because, you know, we got we back on this, you know, um, the Chris Brown meet and greets. OK, yeah. Where, you know, the women's paying like a thousand, was it like a thousand dollars or eleven yeah, hundred dollars or something like that? Eleven hundred. Eleven hundred. One dude paid eleven hundred just to stand up there with the Dragon Ball Z pose. It was just him and Chris I actually Brown. actually like that, though. You that like was it? all right. <laughs> That was all right. I understand that. I ain't paying no eleven hundred for it though. Yeah, I mean I won't, but it was it was kind of cool. It was a cool idea. Because I'm like, yo, what is we gonna do? Because we not going, yeah. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. We just gonna stand next to each other. <laughs> now I mean, gotta make it a little bit creative. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, right, right. Yeah, but um, some of y'all women, now I mean, y'all out of hand. Now I mean, y'all out of pocket. It was a great idea. No, 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 no. It was a great idea by Chris Brown. I respect his hustle. Yo, it was a great idea by Chris Brown. I respect his hustle because, look, when we start moving around and all that, y'all going to have to pay. Y'all going to have to pay. (laughs) Y'all going to have to pay. That's a great idea. Because if Chris Brown can charge y'all, why can't I? Right. That may not be no 1100 Right. Know what I mean? I can at least get a dollar. Yeah. But, you know, that's where people at, though. They all about the experience. So they all about the moment. So, you know what I mean? Some people pay that 1100 because they want that experience. They want that moment. They might might feel like they, they'll never be next to somebody like that. Some people idolize the men. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? So that $1,100 to them ain't nothing. Because, you know what I'm saying? I never thought I would get this close. So, you know what I mean? So, right, that's where we at right now. That's what, that's what a lot of women told me about, like, how they, why they, uh, Go out with men on, on dates, so you know they don't, they ain't not attracted to the man. Like let's say you want to take a chick to like somewhere like Ruth Chris or Steak Forty Eight. I just want to go for the experience. Yeah, you know I mean I know me and him really not gonna go nowhere, but I just want to go for the experience. That's where oh. we at right now. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> no, that's where we at. So people just do shit for the experience of it. Yeah, you know I mean for the moment. Yeah, you know I'm saying. So <laughs> okay. Yeah. So that's why I, that's okay. why I thought about it. Like yo, that's a great idea, Chris. <laughs> that was a great experience. Yeah. For you. Oh, goddamn well, you ain't got no interest in me. Right. That's what they do, though. Yeah. That's why, they, that's why, that's why mm-hmm. the thing is, like, where are you going to take me? Exactly. 
Yeah. That's why. That that's why. Not just us. Other people tell y'all be careful of that. Right. Right. A woman knowing she ain't got she she don't have no real interest in you. Right. You just there to entertain her. Didn't we say that? Yeah. She's going out on a date and you just you just coming along to pay for it. Yeah. She's not even dating you. She dating herself and you just along for the ride to pay. Uh, right. No, you're right. I feel that. No, I mean, not to vilify no chicks, but let's be for real. Some women do that. I ain't, not all women. Some women do that. A lot of women do it. It's becoming a yeah, social I'm norm. I'm bored. I mean, we talk, oh. we talk about an event right now, the Chris Brown thing. You paid 11. I'm pretty sure you could pay $1,100 to good you somewhere else. Listen, 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 listen. You pay eleven hundred dollars to yeah. jump and you jump up yeah. in, in Chris Brown's arms while he holds yeah. you. Yeah, you know I'm saying like shit yeah. like that. So, so, yeah. so the uh, so 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 when the uh, so when the property manager, <laughs> so when the landlord don't get his money because right. you gave it to Chris Brown, and the property manager is talking you calm and cold blooded like, right? Listen, you didn't pay. We have it's in it's in your lease agreement. Right. It's in your lease agreement. Okay, we have the right to enter the premises and put your things out. Oh, and they gonna do it too. They gonna do it. Yeah, you know I mean. So. Shit is out. Go on and go on and, 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 and Chris Brown dance your way, your ass back to your mother or your grandmother's house. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because, listen, all that inflation and times is hard, that shit went out the window. I don't want to be in Chris Brown's arms. Dog. Like I said, we ain't hating no Chris Brown because that's a, that's a crazy hustle. Hell yeah. I might be messing around doubling my money. I got paid. I, I'm a, I, I made money to perform, and I made money to meet and greet. We charging y'all. They said they charge like 1100 right? Yeah. I said that. I read someone that said 1100 Mm-hmm. Eleven hundred is worth it. Now, I'm not gonna say it like it's nobody in the world that I wouldn't have might have never paid. You know what I'm saying? Because well, now I mean the man is gone. I mean Michael Jackson is gone, but you would pay to do that for Mike. It might. That's one one of the few people I, I could probably imagine myself even doing that for. Okay. You. you know what I'm saying? Because most people, I'm not. I wouldn't care. To, to go to go see that bad that I would pay to go see. You know what I mean, pay to take a picture with him, or pay to be this that, that close to to him, to have a conversation with him, or shake their hand, or what, what that that wouldn't. You know what I'm saying? Yo, this I don't mean to cut you off though, bro. Oh. All right, so we know he charges eleven hundred. The the price is eleven hundred because the album is called Eleven Eleven. You know what I'm saying? I think it's a double CD. Gotcha. Where it's eleven eleven songs on this joint, eleven on that, eleven eleven. So that's why I charged eleven hundred. It's a Every meet and greet is sold out for every show. Hell yeah. So it's saying this means Chris Brown would take home a staggering eight hundred thousand dollars just from his meet and greet meet and greets alone. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Hell of a chess move, yo. I ain't gonna front. You smart. Smart yourself for that. <laughs> yo. <laughs> smart as hell, Listen. yo. Listen. Good business. Yeah. That's good business. But, um, yeah, man. Yeah, but see, some of these women are getting carried away. Because some of these women, y'all got a man at home. He didn't know you was going to the meet and greet. He just know you going to the show. Right. He ain't know nothing about no meet and greet. <laughs> I know nothing about no meet and greet. You know what I'm saying? So you spent yeah. $1,100. I'm yeah. out here hustling and grinding because we three months yeah. behind on this car payment. And then I see the picture. You over here. Chris Brown got your buttocks held up and you kiss me. Some type of shit like that. No, I mean, you know? got, he, he, he got your cheeks cuffed. He got, yeah, he got the cheeks he, cuffed. He got your arms around him. Like, but your man, while your man out doing overtime. Right. So, yeah, man, he, it's getting wild, dog. Your man, your man don't work overtime. You in there, you in there throwing, throwing him off with the bullshit like, yeah, time is just so hard right now. <laughs> Time is uh, hard, but you got the eleven hundred. You got the eleven hundred stat. You paid that ahead of time. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because you already got. You had to make sure your spot was secure. <laughs> right. Yeah. Look at these pictures, dog. That's what I'm saying. Some of these pictures is wild, dog. 
I just pull these shirts up. Listen, listen, you, <laughs> come on, fam. Listen, Some of these women listen, got listen, men at home, listen, dog. Listen, listen. They don't care because you seen the one about, you know what I mean? The woman that said that uh, her man broke up with her. Yeah, look at this drink right here. This is wild. You got a man somewhere, though, baby girl. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Like, nah, that's wild, man. Like, you know what I mean? All that for the experience. So you come home, experience paying these bills by yourself. Yeah, listen. Listen. And them them be the type of chicks that want to give you an ultimatum. <laughs> them type of chicks that I sit there and tell you I'm dating with a purpose. Yeah. One purpose. Girl, shut up. See your ass on the internet. You done jump. You done. You done jump. You done jumped up in Chris Brown arms. Right. Now I mean, you all, you all over them. But then you want to sit there and look in your face and tell me you, you dating with a purpose. Right. Come on, man. Yeah, these some of these some of these pictures is wild, man. Like some of them joints out of pocket. Yeah. Some of them joints. One of those pictures are out of pocket. Out of pocket. Yeah. But yeah. You right, man. Hell of a hell of a hell of a great yummy I mean, hell of a great yummy I mean, marketing plan. Yeah, man. Hell I of mean, a great great marketing plan, dog. Listen, I respect the hustle, but some of y'all. That I mean, that's what I mean. So, listen. If one of these women come to perform and I'm at the meet and greet. What you mean perform? Just, just like after the show, when he do the meet and greets or whatever, or before okay. the show, whenever he do the meet and greets, and, you know, I should be allowed if I want to pay my money and if I want to be hugging and kissing okay, on somebody. I got, you, I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you. You know what I mean? I don't want to hear it. Like I said, I've been through something not, 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 not this exactly, but it was a chick that I was messing around with that... I think I told this story before that Tr that Trey Songs pulled up on stage back when he did the pull up on stage yeah. and hug and kiss on him and all of that. Yeah. Back then. Now she wasn't my girlfriend. It was somebody I was messing around with. Okay. But um, she came to tell me. I mean, I got kind of more respect out of her than some of y'all showing y'all men, cause me and her weren't even together, and she came and she told me. Right. Said, I don't want you to, you know, know what I mean, find out with nobody else. But you know, when I went to the to the Trey songs, I, I I'm the one that got picked to go up on stage. So that's what's up. You know what I mean? So, but some of y'all, and like I said, me and her were just friends with benefits. Some of y'all is y'all locked in with somebody. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you don't care about it at that moment, man. It's all about you at that moment. You know what I'm saying? At that time right there, it's all about me. And she got a dress on. Look at that shit. Right, right, right. It's all about me at this moment, man. I don't I think wide open for you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, dog. You know what I mean? That's wild, man. Yeah, I... <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, that's Listen, wild. man, I mean, not to laugh at some of y'all, because some of y'all, that should probably really bother some of y'all men, like, because some of y'all might not even know that ahead of time. Some some of y'all might some of them some men probably don't even know that they women did this shit now and it's done. What she gonna come home and tell you? No, I mean y'all might find out on the internet. That's what I'm saying. I mean, not what everybody's sending you because I said, no, I mean, um, at the time I didn't have, I didn't have Facebook. So she she, but you know the woman she she came and she told me. Right. She was like, you know, you know, because people would start hitting up, finding on Facebook and like, yo, you the one that got put up on stage. She like. I didn't want you to go on like social media and find that out. So so that's why I'm telling you. That's respectful. Exactly. And I, and I mean, I got that out of a woman that me and her are not even together. Right. That's respectful. You know what I'm saying? But some of y'all is. Uh, listen, man. Women going to do what they want to do with whoever they want to do it with. You know what I mean? But some of them. Some of y'all got a man and just it don't matter because it's Chris Brown and he one of the people. Like I said, if, if one of these and and if and if, and if things were reversed, and it was, you know. Yeah. You know, what's the names I am? Like, you know? I don't believe you. The nerve. Right. Come on, man. Right. Um, yeah, so 
That's yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying though. It's like, all right, the roles are reverse. Would you be cool with me paying money? You'll be saying we got bills to pay, right. and you some goddamn, and you acting like a goddamn trick out here, right? Paying to take pictures. That's the best thing you got to do with your money, right? You right, right, right. I'm asking you for money, and you ain't got it, right? And this and that, and we got bills to pay. You out here tricking on, you out here tricking on for pictures and all this and right. that. Right, you had to meet and greet with scissors. Right, what the fuck? All right. right, because listen, scissor, lotto. Meg, don't get mad at me when I come home with the pictures and I'll tell you, <laughs> I'm, I'm be short on my half of the bills. Right. With the joint like, but listen, I did it for the experience. You know what though. I'm saying? I did the experience. I did, for the, I did it for the moment, for the right. experience. Right. And Who you knows when I'll be able to do that again? <laughs> Once in a lifetime opportunity. Oh. You know what I mean? It's funny how when we, when we yeah. need money for some frivolous shit, we can find it. We need money to listen, pay the bills. We listen, fucked listen, up. Listen, listen, discipline. Dog. Discipline. We, you we discipline you for you dumb shit. Yo, now nah, I mean we discipline. Like we said, now nah, I mean we we ain't we ain't hating on this hustle, <laughs> but think dog. about that. As, as, as much as you see people on, on, on social media right now complaining about how hard times are and all right. this and that, listen, I know people like that. For the nonsense, the stupid stuff, dedicated. They're dedicated. For the dumb shit. We Discipline. For the, we don't even know how much the ticket prices cost. Add that to it. You know how motherfucker is. I gotta get some. I gotta get that shit too. I gotta get some new clothes and shit. Listen, 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 listen. Listen, listen the property manager is gonna be putting this shit outside on the sidewalk. Duh. Cause they can't pay them when they get evicted. But it don't matter. That was the best of a of the best nights of your life. Right. Right. Yeah. You know I mean, new outfit. Your hair was done. Right. All right. of that. So now you thinking about that while your stuff is outside on the curb. Yeah, the shit, he done started something. Because now you know the next shit going to try to outdo the last craziest picture she saw. Picture she saw. Mm -hmm. When that chick did that, I know I know how what type of pose I want. Because you trying to outdo the last right. broad and shit. Right, right. When I'm coming <laughs> to take the picture, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't have no panties on neither. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You know some you know some women think like that. Come on, man. You can probably look. Go on. You think you think every one of them women had panties on? No, you right though. You right. You right. <laughs> yeah, you right. Yeah, but. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to him, man. That's a hell of a hustle. Hell yeah, dog. I mean, that's a hell of a hustle. That made eight hundred thousand dollars just off of that alone. And you on tour. That don't count include your tour money, your merch money. Made a hundred thousand dollars off of that alone. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. No, I mean, you're... just for you to come up, you you can't even really say nothing to him. You about to get into your drink, like put your that next. You got to move along. We got a long line today, young brother. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. That's wild. That's a hell of a. Yeah, you know I mean, it's a hell of a. You know what I'm saying, uh, fucking scheme. I ain't gonna lie. That's great. So you know. Um... Some of y'all, you know, you know, here at Ernie so we advise y'all not to go through no woman's phone. Some of y'all gonna find this picture. Yeah. Yeah, some of y'all gonna find them pictures. I mean, some, I mean, somebody gonna find that picture. You're like, yo, didn't you have to pay for this picture? That's him with, that's him with Trey songs too. Man, show you. That's crazy. Man, she, 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 she. she. Stack too. Mm hmm. Yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. When I when I do like 1100, I'll be fucked up. No, 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 baby. You was fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't got me. How the fuck we get that money to do that? She, man. She, she probably, listen, listen. She got that, li listen, women are, women are very resourceful. Yeah, got that OnlyFans and them feet pics out there, brother. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Right. So. Yeah, man. I mean, for some of y'all, um, it, let me let me ask the people out there. You know what I mean, would this be a deal breaker if you find out after the fact that your woman did this? I would. Yeah. Or does it matter if 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 everything is all like like if everything is good, the bills is paid, everything fun, but you find this out? 
would this would, would this be a real 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 issue like a deal break like I'll break up with you like how one of the women was saying that her boyfriend told her that you know you know what I mean after you did that no nah, we ain't together no more or this is the thing of well we might be times my money might be tight or something like that and but you got money for this I can imagine somebody saying that like yo we we saying money is tight and we trying to you feel like we struggling but then. You turn around and you do this, would you be would you be upset? I'm I'm guessing it would be a thing whether you y'all financially y'all all right or not, whether you would break up with her or you would just comb my head for. Her. Yeah, but I mean at the end of the I mean, day. I mean I say comb my head. At the end of the I mean, day, just say yell at her. Money come, money go. You know what I mean? Oh, all right. If if you are, yeah, I mean, money come, money go. Like, you know what I mean? I'm pretty sure if you've been if you fucked up, you've been fucked up before you got out of that hole. You know what I'm saying? So the embarrassment of it though, like if 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 you didn't tell me about the shit going in and you ain't tell me about it coming out, then it's like you knew you was wrong. That's why you didn't even tell me no shit about it. You know what I'm saying? Mm. It was something that you yeah, didn't knew yeah. that this shit was wrong. That's why you did you hid it from me. Yeah, it's not like you it's not you can not you came in the house, the first thing you did was look at this. Right. Hey, look. <laughs> right. Nah, you hit that shit because yeah. you knew. You hit that shit you knew. Oh, wow! You took you actually got to meet Chris Brown, right? I mean, that's a that's a dope picture. You should put that up on your Instagram, right? Right. You know what I mean? Listen, but one thing I know, you know what I mean, for the fellas out there, don't be mad at Chris Brown. Don't be mad at Chris Brown. He ain't put no gun in your woman. Yeah, head, you know yeah, what I'm exactly, tell, exactly. You know what I mean, tell her to come here, drop that thousand dollars up in head. Don't be mad at him. Yo, just imagine this just me about to go on my little tangent. How many motherfuckers child support money went towards paying for the Oh, Chris listen, Brown? listen. You gonna set <laughs> you gonna have niggas. <laughs> you gonna have niggas. niggas, you gonna send niggas to the moon. <laughs> niggas is coming. Nah, nah. Cause bitch, you just you just shook me down in family court, extorted me for more bread. Tell me about, tell me about y'all over here struggling. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you just hit me with the shakedown for right. more money, trying right. to find out you just you paid money to take pictures with Chris Brown. Listen, bitch, you know what? You better not ever tell me I can't come get my kids for the weekend. If you try to, you talk that bull, you and your mom get on that bullshit. <laughs> Dog. Listen, kick in the door, waving the four four. Hell yeah. Damn, you just sitting next to the moon with Hell that yeah, shit, dog. thinking about that shit. Man, that we was kind of evil, you know. We niggas child support money to work for that shit, dog. You know what I mean? We over here struggling, yeah. Right. Over here fucking struggling. She been, tuck, she been tucking that money away. Like, yo, you you picking your kids up. Yo, where, you, where y'all new sneakers at? Right. I thought y'all got new sneakers. What? <laughs> Them motherfuckers like, what new sneakers? Right. Right. Fuck you talking about sneakers? Your mom told me y'all need the sneakers. I gave her money for some sneakers. Hitting you with the bullshit. Now I'm saying, telling you it's for the school uniforms. Right. They got the same uniforms from last year. Right. Yo, you gonna have motherfuckers mad as shit over that. Dog. You gonna have motherfuckers mad as shit over that. What? Come on, man. Ah, fucking comb your head for some shit like gotta, that. Cause you gotta think about it. Like you said, some of them are resourceful. You gotta do what you gotta do. And they mind like, look, this is for the moment, man. I get right back. You know what I'm saying? Them kids will be all right for, for this. My Mommy's stressed the fuck out. You know how woman is. I'm stressed out. I need this. Because I'm, I'm dealing with a lot. You know what I mean? All right. Your, your, kid, your, kids, your kids calling you for this and that. You like, yo, what you talking about? I just... Right. You know what I mean? You ain't saying it to them because they kids, but you thinking like, hold on, hold on. I just gave her... I just dropped some bread off. Right. You got boys and shit. She talking about something. They need sneakers. You like, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a cash you like 400 for them some sneakers. 400? They like you. You know they don't like no cheap shit. Oh, all right. You know what I mean, we go, we go get your kids. He, he, he ain't got new sneakers or a haircut. What but you, you know, but you, but yeah. you, hold on. <laughs> My kids should be for the money I'm coming pocket with. He should be fresh. Right. She did. She make you how, come. She make how you, you giving them to me? Talking about something. He need a haircut. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. I gave you haircut money. He don't like the bar where I take him to. That type shit you get. That's the type shit you go through. Then she told you. Right. She called no, you no, urgently. No, no, no. You got to come get him on the 18th. 
Yeah. What's the 18th? That's the day of the concert. Yeah. The <laughs> <laughs> now I mean, now let me, I mean, any other time I got, I gotta, I gotta fucking fight with you, right? Oh uh, no, nah, they gonna be doing this and that with their grandmother, and they gonna be, yeah. hey, what? Right. You got, I got me jumping. You got, you got some of these dudes jumping through hoops to see their kids, but then now you just want to give them. Mm-hmm. I mean, you giving them to me now. You need to come get them. I, I need a break. Well, you were just telling me no. He was giving me the runaround. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Some of that child so I smack fire out yeah, you. I, I, I mean, not even, I mean, I mean, I know I'm just joking when I say that, but I would smack fire out you. My the child support money going to is that? God damn, Breezy. This is the chick you was talking about? Chris Brown photo causes women's breakup. I think, I think, I, I think that's it. Yeah. I think that's it. Yeah, there's a couple of women that went through that. You know what I mean? Damn. Yeah, dog, come on, man. You know that shit's happening like that. Listen, you know what I mean? Some of y'all telling kids, like, listen, listen. Chris Brown got your sneaker money, yo. Yeah. Chris Brown got your sneaker money. Don't, don't ask, <laughs> Chris don't Brown ask got your, your pop. sneaker money. Chris Brown got your money, you know what I'm saying? That's why you eat cereal for dinner, young boy. <laughs> you know, That's wild, You know what I mean? Cause you know, you know, we already know how women is. Women like to do shit to outdo other women. They you do shit, then you make it seem like we care about it. We don't care about half that shit. We don't care about your eyelashes. We don't care about your shoes, your Birkin bags. You know what I mean, we y'all do shit to outdo other women. So you know, as a woman out there, like yeah, I'm going with the girls, but I'm saving up this child support money because they don't got money for the meet and greet, and I'm going to the meet and greet. Mm. They just you just doing it to outdo other women. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So you the one okay. chick from the squad. Yeah, I mean, you saw how he grabbed me. Uh, I whispered in his head, told him I loved him, and shared the picture. Shit like that. Listen. They like, how the fuck did she get the money to do that? And this chick on wick. Listen, listen. See that? See that's why Trump was giving y'all the goddamn fruit baskets. I'm with him on that. Stop giving him so much goddamn money. That's a matter of fact. Listen, I'm. A, I'm. Listen. Do that shit. You do some shit like that. See, I ain't got no kids. You do some shit like that. I'm at the family court, and yeah. they telling me they they telling me I gotta restrain myself, and I'm gonna hit cussing. <laughs> like nah, nah. This bitch, excuse me, excuse me, misappropriation funds. Cause where the money going? I'm paying the money, and that's Ooh. not even count. And that's not even counting the times that she just hit me up and I cash app her. <laughs> The judge hit you with the joke like the boy on TV. He's like, sir, there's no need to cuss and yell. Right. One of the two would do right. like, I'm sorry. <laughs> right. This that bitch. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that bitch. Terry my family. <laughs> right. He's like, sir, there's no need to cuss and yell. One of the two what? would do. <laughs> listen. Listen, I'm in family court about to get thrown in jail. Right. Then I'm in there going off. <laughs> That's what she's using my money for. Oh, but we down here talking about she need more money. It's not enough. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, don't even think about that because that should have sent y'all to the moon, dog. Oh, that yeah. should have had y'all, y'all motherfuckers be ready to fucking crash out, yell, scream, and holler over some shit like that. Hell yeah. But you know that's what some of that went to. You can't tell me all them chicks just, oh, they just worked and they just stashed their own money and they used, no. Nah. Some of that, the child support, child, child support money paid for some of that. Hell, you know it, dog. You know child it support, did. the child support money paid for some of that. Ah, fucking what? Yeah, I mean, back what? Don't let your, don't let your ass be late with that motherfucking shit. She, you know, she stashed it for something. You know what I'm saying? You man, you paying that money? She, she all hooked up with Chris Brown. Your kids in the house eating King Vitamin cereal, right? Eating cereal out of bag. Right. Come <laughs> on, oh, guys. Stop it, man. Eleven for eleven hundred dollars. This is what you did. You spent you spent the kids whole motherfucking. They fucked up. They be all right. Mm. They'll be all right. That's wild. Yeah, man. Some of y'all, man. Some of y'all bros don't even think about that. Cause that shit going, that shit gonna have y'all upset. Ready to fucking yell screaming how now I mean ready to crash out. And, 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 and cuss and cuss out and go around to a mom house starting shit and they say you know they calling they calling the cops because you outside 
You're outside your, 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 your kid's grandmother's house right. going the fuck off. Right. Right. You ready to lose it. I'm ready to lose it. Yeah. You ain't hit. You fucking, you fucking, you getting, you, you, you dogging yourself at work for that shit. She fucking spinning it on some shit like this. Right. Oh, you ain't, you fucking dogging yourself at work for that shit. Come on, man. You know that shit's happening. You, know you, thinking, I mean? you thinking it's for your kids. You know I mean, she don't use them, man. It is for the kids because her mom's mental health, y'all you know I'm saying, is it's good for the kids. Oh, okay. Right now, I was unstable. I was depressed in this motherfucker. Oh, okay. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's why when I took the picture, I uploaded it, and I got like over 100 likes. That made me feel better. Right. Shit like that. You know what I mean? There you go. My mental health. My mental health should be key in this relationship. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Listen, I'm man. fucked up. Listen. Listen. Mama got to have a life, too. Yeah. Listen, you just, you just, you, you started, you started the episode out talking about how men are underappreciated. You know what I'm saying? And that's 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 the reality of that shit. My mama mama you up too. Well, while you doing all that, I'm doing doubles at the job with one day off. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. <laughs> mama got a life, bro. Listen, man. Listen, some of y'all that's relationships. Y'all went above and beyond to make a Mother's Day special. Yeah. What she did, she told she ain't got it like that. She ain't got the same for you. Right. You know what I'm saying? She gave that money to Chris Brown. Yeah. God damn. Couldn't give him a goddamn pack of socks. No. <laughs> no. I mean, I mean, no. She she gave she gave your sock money to Chris Brown. Yeah. She, she gave the money she's gonna get you something with. No. To Chris Brown. Dog, oh, when Mother's Day come around, leading up to Mother's Day, every fucking corner that's a corner in Philadelphia got somebody selling flowers and teddy bears and shit. Father Day come around, you don't see a soul out. It feel like the right. pandemic out this motherfucker. Right. I, I can get here so fast. Right. Every month. You know what I mean? Ain't nobody out. Taking a goddamn Sunday off. Like, ain't, ain't nobody out there today. You know what I mean? Nobody out there. Dun, That's a guy, guy dun, right here. Dun, dun, no time. Yeah. Yeah. The, 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 the fucking restaurants is closed. Like, right. Yeah. Ain't, this, this ain't Mother's Day. Nah. You know what I mean? You talk about kids wake up. They wake up, now I mean, 3 o'clock in the afternoon and shit. What time they wake up? This is another day, dog. Yeah, hey, man. A lot of these, yeah, no, you're that, right, man. Crazy. A lot of these men probably going to go crazy thinking about that now. I hope I, I hope I ain't starting nothing because. <laughs> you say it after the fact. Yeah, I, know, I, was just, you know, I was just, I was in the moment. I was, <laughs> I was like, I'm just saying. I know a lot of men going to go crazy thinking Damn. about that shit, dog. Because mm-hmm. you got to think about it. If he said he sold out every meet and greet, What's the odds that these, all of these women, well, there's a couple of dudes too, majority women, you know what I'm saying, actually had that money and didn't have to dip into, you know what I'm saying, the child support or whatever they, whatever this man give you for the kids. Hmm. That's crazy, yo. Listen, man, um, y'all brothers, man, stay calm and don't be out there combing the head because that's the last thing you need is to get locked up. You know what I mean? That's thing you know you're losing your vegetation and all that. You know what I mean? So, you know what I, mean? What I mean, so leave that be. Um, anyway, man, um, what else did I see that was going on? Oh, I seen, I seen a podcast. I'm not going to say the name of the podcast. I actually like the young lady's content. But I, I seen, I seen a podcast and the host was talking to, had had a guest, and they was talking about marriage, you know what I mean? Marriage and finding, you know, the one and all of that. And, it, and I, I ended up, because cause, cause you know how, like, the algorithm be having me, like, all over the place. My algorithm is crazy, like, on, like, YouTube. And, like, one video go off and another one automatically come on. Mm-hmm. And it came on, and I, and I, just, started, and I just started listening to, to some of the stuff they were saying. And some of the stuff made sense, but some of the stuff got me thinking. I'm not saying these two particular people are or that what I'm about to say, but I me thinking about some people that I that I have encountered in life. Some of y'all women are saying that, you know, y'all praying and you know the man that God 
is going to send you and all this. And, you know, the whole, you know, you know how people be all, we're going to speak it into fruition. And, right. you know, what's meant for you is meant for you. And, you know, the, 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 the man God going to send you. Some of y'all ain't shit as people. And that's why y'all getting what y'all getting. I don't give a damn if y'all going to church. I don't give a damn if y'all know the whole Bible front to back. Some of y'all ain't shit as people. And the reason, I'm going to tell you the reason why I say that, because I think back on my life where some of these, some, some of the people who always said, oh, praise the Lord. Every five seconds was praise the Lord. Or yeah. won't he do it? Y'all some of the worst fucking people I've ever met. Mm. It'd be the person that say, praise the Lord. And, you know, um, you know, uh, 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 God, God got me and all this and that. You the worst person that I at this whole goddamn place. Mm. The way you treat other people. Sneaky, lying. You know what I mean? You right. just be some fucked up people. Yeah, I feel you on that. But they be the first people talking about some God got me and won't he do it and praise the Lord. And I walk with Christ. I know Christ got my back. He don't, he don't, he don't play. God don't play about me. Yeah, God don't play. No, remember it ain't. It ain't some of y'all ain't 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 with the man y'all got, and y'all and y'all fucking with ain't shit dudes because that's what y'all deserve. Mm. Let's keep mm. it real. You know what I mean, everything that happened bad to you, or every bad experience and everything, is not the devil. Because God punishes people too, right? God punished the devil, right, to begin with. So everything ain't the devil when something bad happened. Some of y'all reaping what y'all sow. Some of y'all phony, let's be for real, some people out here phony as shit. Damn. Smiling all in people's faces. Damn. And God praised the Lord. And then, yeah. but you was just not fucking paying people right. Right. Talking about playing, praise the Lord. You going to your church every Sunday. You... You fucking up people's paychecks on purpose. Mm. What's godly about that? You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm. What's what's Christian about that? That just made me start thinking about some of the people that I've encountered in my life that was ain't shit as people, but they were some of the most people. Everything was praise the Lord in the Bible. This and there's all everything was always a Bible verse, and they some of the most ain't shit people I've ever known. Yeah. And that just that just made me think about that. Like, do you think ain't shit people know that they ain't shit? Some of them I think do. Some of them don't. Some of them it's the whole. Some of them. Some of them I believe do. Some of them I think don't. They just. They just fucked up people that just don't know they fucked up. Mm. You see what I'm saying? It's kind of the whole. Um. Joker from Batman. Mm -hmm. Do a bunch of fucked up stuff to people. Right. But, and everybody looks at him like he's 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 crazy as hell. He does that, but to him, everybody else is crazy. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right, right. right. That's how he think. Okay, y'all saying I'm crazy, but in his in his mind, y'all are trying to fit in and just get a, go along to get along in life. To him, that's crazy. Right. So everybody else is looking at him like he's crazy. He looks at everybody else like they're crazy. And what he does makes make sense. You know what I'm saying? Some Because some of these people do a lot of shit that I don't even know what you was expecting somebody know. You, there was somebody ready to knock your head off. You looking like you don't understand. Right. No, you just fuck somebody's paycheck up on purpose. Mm. So why are you surprised when she comes up here ready to whoop your ass? You know what I'm saying? Right. Some some of the stuff just don't make no sense to me. Some people like, but it but it always be them people that be talking about praise the Lord. You know what I mean? So just because you saying that don't mean the Lord is gonna bless you. No, I believe God punishes people too, right? Mm -hmm. So some of y'all, what, what y'all going through in life, and why did 
why why do bad things happen to good people? Who do you hundred percent know that that person's a good person? Mm. Because they go to church and they clap their hands and they sing and all that and this and that. Does that mean that they're a good person? If you treat everybody like shit, you do people wrong. Mm. And you cut people's throats and you stab people in the back. Right. That just had me thinking about that. Because Eric, people are just... And where, they, and where, and where that ties in to, 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 to this and, and, and where the whole dating is at for me thing and all that is everybody's saying that they, they're keeping the faith and they're going to... And they're praying that God sends you a husband. God may never send your ass a husband because you might be not shit as a person. Now think about all the times that just like you talked about before, I'm dating for the experience. Think right. about all the people you use. You might have checked up who might have might have used. Yeah, you're right. And you're then right. they'll sit there on a on a podcast and cry. They're gonna cry and make content and whatever, make TikToks and all that on Instagram and cry about when a man used you. He popped you and dropped you. Right. Oh my, I don't I'm a good person, and you know, what's meant for you is meant for you. Yeah. You messing with ain't shit dudes your whole life is what's meant for you probably might, might right. be. Right. Because you might be an ain't shit person. That don't mean you're a good person just because you sing because you know gospel songs and you know y'all clapping your hands. You know what I mean? Clapping your hands and everything is you have to pray. I need a I need a God fearing man. Are you a God fearing woman? You know what I mean? To all the people that say you're a God fearing person. Are you truly a God fearing person? Mm. Cause some of y'all do some shit that's completely fucked up to people. Mm. But then say that they're God fearing people. Right. Like some of the most fucked up people I ever met, been around, or like, you know what I mean? For 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 instance, some somebody I may have worked with in my life, they'll be the first person to say they they are God fearing people. I walk I walk with the Lord and I'm I'm a God fearing person and praise the Lord and this and that. Some of the most fucked up people I've ever met. Yeah, the shit crazy. that you do to people. Right. The stuff you do to people, you to be deserving to get your teeth knocked out. Mm. And that just had me thinking about that. Because it be women that be saying that what's meant for you is meant for me. And then I'm going to pray. And I want a man that, that, that he prays. Who's to say you're a nice person? I, I've been around some phony ass people. I could show you some women that are tens physically, but they are phony as shit. Mm. And maybe the reason why some of y'all are having a tough time is because y'all ain't shit as people. Mm. That just be having me thinking that sometimes. I feel you. I feel you. Because I know, dude. I know some. I know someone that are beautiful that they phony as hell. They do people wrong, but they expect the world to give them positive energy back, and they always crying about why. Why me? I don't deserve this. No, maybe you do. Maybe you do deserve to be messing with ain't shit dude after ain't shit dude and you can't find a decent dude even though you pretty as a motherfucker. You can't right. find a man that's worth anything. Maybe that's what God keep putting in your path because that's what maybe that maybe that's what you deserve. Right. Maybe that's what you deserve. Some people be saying this like people be saying that. Men and women, I know dude, I know dudes that say that. Yo, I'm trying to find, you know, why? Man, why you can't find a chick to hold you down? Well, you've been a dog for as long as I've known you, bro. Right. Even when you get a chick, you still act like you're rolling around like you're single. So, I don't know what you were talking about, like the universe and God and Eric supposed to give you some positive energy back. And you just supposed to find a chick that's just, I'm down for you. I'm a 10 and I know how to cook. I'm going to clean, you know what I mean? I'm never, you know what I mean? And I'm, I'm like, like people say, I cook, I clean, I fuck, I shut up. You're going to get all that. But no matter what type of woman you get, you still move around like you're single and just cheat any damn way. Right. So even when you get a good woman, you're just doing all the dumb shit anyway. Because some of y'all do stuff that you should go to get your, just, 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 to get your head slapped off your shoulders for. Right. Some of y'all do shit that y'all deserve to get Killed in y'all fucking sleep for. Damn, okay. Let's be for real. Okay. Because the thought of some of this stuff that some people do be crazy to me. Mm. Because I'll be, imagine how you will feel 
if your woman, you you want her locked in, but she cheat on you, and she go suck a nigga dick, and the first thing she do is come home and kiss you. Mm-hmm. You don't got no clue. Then you find that out. How how, how would you feel? You being a goddamn house ready to whoop her damn ass over that. Some of y'all be having y'all whole goddamn face between another woman's legs and will go home and kiss y'all woman. Mm. That shit you deserve to get your goddamn head knocked off your shoulders for. Let's be real. Yeah, but people always find, we find excuses on why we do what we do. A motherfucker tell you I do that because she nagged me to death or she do this or she do that. Not looking at the situation that he created to even make her nag her. You know what I mean? The good deeds that we do, we want that we want to be rewarded for that shit ten hundred fold. The bad deeds that we do, we want that shit to be forgotten. And, I mean, forgotten or be forgiven for it. So you know what I mean? Just yeah, yeah, yeah. I know this joint. I know this joint kind of like took like a serious turn and all that. Yeah, it just yeah. went down a rabbit hole. But that's how I was thinking. Not the. That's why I ain't say the name of the content creators and all. Not 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 other um other uh other uh, uh show. The show I was watching. Cause it's not really about them in particular, but it just that 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 but it sparked something in my brain when you think that. Cause I know a lot of people, I I I've been around I've been around a lot of people, like I said, we in my 40s. I've been around a lot of people who talk that praise the Lord and what's meant for me is meant for me, and, and, and God got me, and you know, I'm oh I'm I'm covered by the Lord, and they some of the most fucked up people. Yeah, but that's why they do that though. Because so I'm like religion, 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 damn near. Put you in a position where you feel like I deserve what I what I what I deserve, and I don't got to change who I am. Because I believe I should I should get what I want by being who I am right now. Because my God says so. You know what I'm saying? It don't never come to the accountability of I got to change who I am. You walk around feeling like man, I deserve good things to happen to me because I believe in such and such. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's why they always say you like yo God got it. God, I'm just waiting for God. I'm waiting for God. You're waiting for God, but you're not changing who you are. Hmm. God going to send this to me. God going to send a man for me. Well, you're going to be the same person that chased away the last three motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? When you going to change? You waiting for God. And everybody that came, the last three motherfuckers, wasn't sent by God. That's how it is in your mind. They weren't sent by God. That's why I'm not with them. You know what I'm saying? That's why they didn't work out. I'm waiting for the one. You waiting for the one motherfucker to accept your bullshit. Mm-hmm. That's going to ride that shit out. You know what I mean? That's how, as much as I love religion, religion keeps people stagnant and happy. Mm. It does. It keeps you stagnant and happy. It, nothing in religion tells you to try to, no, I'm not going to say nothing. There are things in religion that tell you to, be, to better yourself. But a lot of people or a lot of religious people believe that because I believe I should get this because, you know what I mean? I believe. I don't got to change who I am. I believe is enough. My mm-hmm. belief is enough. So I can still be, like you said, the asshole that I am outside of here. That motherfucker, but see, I'm an asshole. They don't even go to church on Sundays. I do. So because I do this one good thing, I should be rewarded. Because they don't do that. They, they, don't, they don't do this. They don't love you like I love you. So I should be rewarded because of that. But you still, like you say, you're a piece of shit of a person, though. You don't got to change that because you believe. You think you should be rewarded with all these good things because you believe in me. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, that just had to. Yeah, that just had me thinking. I'm like, I know some phony, yo, I've been around some phony ass people. Yeah. So, and, 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 and when I be hearing people say stuff like that, like, especially when I, when I hear women, that just be making me think like, well, how are you as a person? You can sit here and say church, this and Bible, that, and you might not be shit as a person though. That's why you can't find a, you can't find a man, but yeah, yeah, I'm a fucked up person. I'm phony. I'm a backstabber. But in your head, God's going to send me a husband. Yeah. No, he's not. He he might not. He, he might probably, say she ain't never going to change. He so. probably already did. Yeah, he probably already did, but... You chasing the fuck away because you are who you are. Yeah, because... And then, and then, and then when you hear women say, uh, I, just, I just felt in my spirit that I just had to break up with them because this person is not my husband. Be like, so what are you looking for? So what was what, what was wrong with him? You felt you you felt in your spirit that that wasn't your husband. What was actually wrong with the man? You see what I'm saying? Right. 
Would I be hearing people say that online? Bro, the internet got people fucked up in their minds. I'm like... Yeah, church got people fucked up. This was my whole thing. When I used to grow up in church, I used to always think like, if church is the... Not not to say that God isn't real, but like, you see a church in the hood, these people will go there for their whole life, and you'll see their life not change. Mm -hmm. So if if church is... See, I don't want to misquote myself like or, or talk out of turn. But if y'all are doing the right things and nobody excelling financially, y'all still in the same environment that y'all in. Is God, your God really that good? Because you worship Sunday, the only day that you can believe. You lead there and you, you, your church in North Philadelphia. You walk out the doors, it's dangerous everywhere else. But you never got out of this situation. You know what I'm saying? Nobody never became a millionaire and just excelled. All y'all been in the same position that y'all is in. But we believe. We got hope that shit going to change. That's why, I mean, not the, not the, because I, I believe. I don't want nobody, because y'all already did that shit to us already. I do believe in God. But I do believe that you got to take action. And a lot of people that just believe, believe that I can be the person that I am and things is going to happen. Mm -hmm. yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. And that just had, that just had me thinking about that when I, when I, when I hear people say that. And I and I think that because I don't because I don't I don't I don't know that person when I'm sitting there watching that content yeah. or whatever. I don't know that person. But for my experience in life that I know some ain't shit people that talk this stuff. Yeah. They some of the worst people you've ever met. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Ain't shit as people. Right. But then it's always, yeah, you know, um, you know, my wife is out there. I'm a farm white. Lord going to send your wife. Well, you's a backstabbing ass motherfucker who don't nobody like, don't nobody trust. But you think, this, so everybody thinks something, every time something go wrong in your life, it will why me, you know? You know, I you know, I just pray. And then, no, that could be God punishing your ass doing some of that stuff. Could be. It could be. I, I, have, I, have, I have no idea why some of these people think because... They pray and they read the Bible and they clap their hands and sing. That absolves you from having to actually be a decent person. Cause because some do. Because you don't do it though. You know what I'm saying? That's like a motherfucker that, like, how is well, I so selling? He don't even come to church. Yeah. I'm here every Sunday, God. He don't even come to church. How is he blessed? That's how motherfuckers is. That's that's where that spite and shit come from. Because now you mad because right. you see a motherfucker out here, he winning. But you like Did I'm he? here every day and I'm but you still a you still a piece of shit. Yeah, uh Diddy's the devil. Diddy one Diddy, Diddy's very successful, but Diddy, but Diddy's the devil. Right. Right? But he's a bad person. But you was a fucked up person too. Right. You just clapping your hands and singing and praising the Lord and coming to church. But you got some fucked up shit with you too. Yeah. One day out of the week you do that. Right. Oh man, praise the Lord. You've been but you you the person in your family that touched little kids. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Why well, always, you know, oh man, I got all this weight on my back, my whole life, everything been a fight and a struggle. That may have been God rewarding you. Mm. Cause you're a fucked up person. Mm. That's that's what you get. You reap what you sow. And you said that may be God rewarding you. Yeah. That's, wow. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's your reward. Yeah, wow. That's uh, what you get. A reward don't necessarily got to be a good thing. Right, I know what you mean. I yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, you you yeah. have been rewarded. That's what you got. He gave right. you something. He didn't forget about you. He gave you these problems. Right. Because yo, it's some people that I know that just triggered me. You know what I'm saying? That kind of just had me thinking because it's some people I know or I have known in life that every five seconds is the Lord this, the Lord that, praise God, and I'm covered in the blood of Jesus and can I, and they treat, and they're some of the worst fucking people. Stuff that they do to people don't be making no sense. Mm. Like, yo, how can you talk that God stuff and then you treat people the way like that? And people just think like, because I'm clap, clap my hands and sing, all this is going to be forgiven. No, some of y'all be having that. Then You heard what's happening? Such and such, such and such, such and such got a car too, or somebody stole a car, and then they did this to this person, and then a house 
And she, that person about to lose their house. And oh my God, how that happened? Because you thought that because she clapped and singed and all that, nothing bad was going to happen to her. Right. See the way she treat people, right? Right, right. Maybe that's the Lord punishing her. Anything at the devil. Oh no, the devil can't touch me because this is God. No, that might be God punishing your ass. Anything can't be the goddamn devil about to get you. Right. Some of y'all just getting punished by God. Mm. I, I, it, I truly believe that. Mm. Yo, I true, yo, I, yo, I truly believe that. But people will look at you and say, "Man, you, don't, you need to start going to church." Why? I know we don't took it somewhere else, but that's what we do. Right. Why? Right. Why? This, this is the thing to get me. Um, God woke you up this morning. Exactly. So. I spent the day being productive trying to reach my goals. Right, right. When you see us doing this podcast, this helps me reach my goals. It's something I like to do and reach my goals. Right. Okay, God woke you up. What did you do? You went to a job that you hated. Yeah. You don't try to change that. You went to dummy your whole life. You done spent 40 years at a job that you never liked. You never went for what you wanted to do. Right. You always wanted to start a business. You never did. And what you do? You stopped by the liquor store and played the lottery on the way home. Right. But then we'll sit there and tell me, God woke you up this morning. Right. No, God woke you up this morning. I know God woke me up this morning. That's why I, I spent my day being productive. Yeah. I didn't spend my I didn't spend my whole day sitting around thinking, let me just let me just do what I gotta do and then let me go get a bottle and let me go play the lottery. And hopefully I win the lottery. Yeah. So did you make the best out of the day God gave you? I'm doing the Because best. because yeah. I felt like I made strides and I and I did something productive that's gonna help me out. No, I did the bare minimum. Yeah. I did the bare minimum did or I didn't minimum. do shit, but God God woke you up today. Yeah, right. God woke you up today. What did you do? Right. Because this is where I gotta give I gotta give Jay-Z credit when I heard him say this. You got people that's that question him that ain't doing shit. Right. When he was like, yo, I can tell you. All the people I help, all the things I do. He's like, I can tell you what I did. I can tell you what I've been doing. He's like, I tell you what I've been doing the whole last year. Everything that I did, the people that I helped. He's like, what did the people that's criticizing you do? Yo, I agree with that. Even though you some a lot of y'all feel like we we don't like we don't like James something. Yeah, yeah. We don't. No, no, no. No, I mean it ain't. It ain't like that. We ain't got nothing against the man. Yeah. But I do agree with him when he say that. You got people that ain't doing shit questioning you. You really have people like that. I mean, questioning you in life. Oh, I want to question me because I don't go to church. Bro, I run the circles around. I run circles around you in life. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm running around trying to do all I can to get what I want. You know what I'm saying? And then help other people do the same stuff that they trying to do. Right. That's what I do with my day when God wakes me up. What did you do with your day? You drunk all day, smoked a whole pack of cigarettes, and complained about your life. Yeah. But, then but that's cool yeah. because you're gonna go to church on Sunday. Right. And right. you're gonna and and you gonna pray. I'm not gonna pray. I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not going I'm not gonna go work out, take better care of myself so I can live longer. Right. I'm gonna pray to win the lottery. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then when you make it, the caveat that we use on you is that, man, I so God bless you, you know what I'm saying? So you got to be a blessing. Yeah. God bless you, so you got to be a blessing. Yeah. Well, God blessed me because he gave me the know-how of how to go after some shit. The whole time you was waiting, you was putting yourself in a position to try to receive something from somebody, not go after something. So now God bless me, so now I got to be a blessing to the family. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's the whole, this person... This person just do for everybody. You can't, you can't do for everybody. Some people can't, some people can't be helped. Like I said, and like we say here, you try to help everybody from drowning, the person will drown you. Yes, you will. Yes, they will. You will roll, you, you will go broke trying to help broke people. Yeah. You can't help everybody. Some some people cannot be helped. They can't. True. They cannot be helped. True. They can't. Okay, right. So yeah, man. Um I know that June was somewhere else, but that had me thinking because 
I be hearing a lot of people say that that just aren't genuine people. Mm. I be hearing the whole praise the Lord, praise God, and I'm praying, and what's meant for me is meant for me. I be hearing people say that, and I'm like, yo, you was a fucked up person. Mm. And you really talking to God stuff all day, every day. You see what I'm saying? Yo, do people wrong. Right. I want to get up, get up, me do, you know what I mean? You went to church, but go to church every Sunday and this and that and do people absolutely wrong. I know, I worked with a, I, I worked with a lot of people like that. I have worked in my life with a lot of people like that. Mm. That talk that, praise the Lord and all this and that. And they treat people like shit, the job, do people dirty. Right. Do people absolutely dirty. But always clapping and singing a church song and all this and that. And that just had me thinking about that. Like some of y'all, just because some of y'all smile and y'all seem nice. And you know, y'all graduated from this college and then, you know, you know, you got your degree and this and that. That don't mean that you, you can still be an ain't shit person. Because I ain't right. been around you. You might be an ain't shit person. You might be a phony ass person. You might be a fake ass friend of people. True. You might be that fake friend. Like people say fake friends. Some of these people have to actually be the fake friend. Some of y'all are the fake friend. <laughs> right. Right. Some of y'all are the phony person. Only comes around when y'all want some. Like we say, some people are phony, only come around when they want some. Some of y'all are that person that we talk about. Yeah. Some of y'all are that fake and phony ass person that pretends to be somebody's friend. Only, only comes around when you want something, but then we'll say, praise God, praise the Lord, and you know... The Lord don't play about me, and you're one of the most fucked up people that everybody know. But you, you know what I mean? Some people just deal with you because they might have love for you. You might be their family member. You are that burden. Mm. You are mm. a burden. Damn. You are the burden. Clapping your hands and singing and all this and that, and you know, but you are the burden. You're a person that can't get right. Right. And make everybody else's life harder. And then cry when something don't go go don't go right in your life. Know what I mean? That could be God punishing your ass. They ain't, I don't automatically mean it's the devil. True. The devil hard at work. Says a person who ain't shit. Right. Who phony as hell, treat people terrible. I mean, when something bad happened to him, man, the devil hard at work. Huh? That shit, that just could be your karma. Yeah. <laughs> soon as something happened to him the de soon as something happened to that the devil's hard at work <laughs> the devil's hard at work but you just didn't pay that person right right and you know you should have or the devil's hard at work where you just took that people money and just ran and just done you should you should have did your damn job right when something bad happened to you the devil hard at work god got me though you just ran off with them people money and then never just finished your damn job yeah thank god god got are you talking about dog you you a piece of shit for that mm. but it's the devil soon as something happened to you it's the devil know what I mean but that just had me thinking about that that all the people that believe in that man some of y'all ain't finding the person ain't not find a person cause cause that that could that be made me that, that made me think about myself, like, yo, make make sure I'm, I'm I'm I do right by people, and I'm, and and, and, and you know, because some people be acting like be feel be, be be feeling like that, like, are oh, you doing this and that? All your podcast doing good and this and that, yeah, but people act like because you don't go to church, that mean you against God and don't believe in anything True. and all that. No, I just try to work on being the right, being being, being a good person, treating people right. Right. Some of, like I said, some of these people clapping and singing and know and know every goddamn church song and know all them Bible verses, but they ain't shit as people. Yeah. And that could be affecting all aspects of their life. Yes. And they dating. That's why some of y'all ain't finding y'all goddamn husband. Right. God ain't sending y'all husband because he feel like y'all don't deserve one. Yeah. Know what I mean? And that's why to some of y'all guys, that's why you can't find your wife. Because some of y'all need to get right. Right. So a lot of people out here complaining about they can't find their spouse, they can't find their husband, they can't find their wife. Y'all ain't shit as people, though. Mm. 
Everything ain't the devil. God punishes people. He, you know what I mean, he the one that started it. Right. You know what I mean? Everything at the devil, people kill me with that. The devil hard at work. One of the worst people at this motherfucker. You know, devil, as soon as something happened to you, the devil hard at work. Treat people like shit, treat people terrible all day, every goddamn day. As soon as something bad happened to you, the devil hard at work and God got me and you know, I gotta pray about it. Huh? You one of the fucking worst people I've had to work with. Hmm. Crazy man, you know, know what I mean. So I just that 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 just had me thinking. You know what I mean. You know, I kind of like. No, you think good. you good, bro. Think a little different other thing because I was I was thinking when we 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 hear when you hear people say that not not just picking women. I said guys too. I know guys that they complaining that they trying to find a woman a, a good woman and all this and that, but they kind they do fucked up shit. Right. I'm like, why would God see a woman and every woman they sent you, you just. You just you just dogging them. Right, true, true. You dogging them. So why would he keep sending you good women if you dogging them? But you can't tell nobody that. Right. Looking at you like you crazy. Nah, see, see, you don't even like had the same type of faith as me. Just because I don't go to church don't mean I don't believe in nothing. So you go to church, but you in here trying to fuck. Right. You trying to fuck everything in here. Right. You know what I mean? You're right. Anyway, man. Yeah. <laughs> For some odd reason, y'all be loving these joints. If you starting these joints off, it just just it just it just go anywhere. Yeah. But y'all be saying y'all y'all love these joints though. Yeah. You know what I mean? But you know, this was part four, you know what I mean? Of um are y'all crazy. And you know, like I say went all over the place, but like I said, man, y'all y'all say y'all love these joints, you just go all over the place and just talk about a whole bunch of different stuff. But yeah, man, that just had me that that just that just that should be having me thinking. I'm like, I wonder what type of person this person actually is. Because people just automatically just could they say a Bible verse or two, or they say praise the Lord, I believe in God. That don't mean you that you a decent person. True. You know what I mean? Because some of the some some of the worst people I, I have had to be around, like I said, I, I mean your personal life, you can just not be around somebody if they're a bad person. But in your professional life, a lot of y'all got jobs and y'all and I and, and I know that y'all know what I mean. Cause some of y'all work around people that. Like, yo, you ain't shit as a person. You the first person clapping your hands and saying praise the Lord and all this and that. And, you know, anything that happened to you is the devil. Right. Huh? Terrible as you treat people, when something bad happened to you, it's the devil. No, it could just be God punishing you. You know what I mean? So, uh, no, I'm pretty much done with this one, man. You know what I mean? So, like I said, man, thank y'all for the love and support we get. Please like, rate, review, share, uh, subscribe. And uh, like I said, man, we gonna um we gonna get right with the Patreon. We should have the Patreon up and running, know what I mean, where everything is running right, now. I mean, that was a misstep by me. Now I mean I rule now I mean the roll out ahead, now I'm saying that was kind of a misstep, but we're gonna get that right. Now I mean so y'all can join the Patreon and just man, listen, man, just just thank y'all, man. You know what I mean, I really thank 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 y'all for the success that we having. Thank you to everybody out there. You know what I mean, um, said um, I did talk to Ebony. You know what I mean, I did record a um episode of her over the phone. That's gonna be on Patreon. So we looking for that in the next. Probably I think I'm gonna drop that one like next week. But I'm gonna drop that on the Patreon. You know what I mean, and you know, you know what I mean before you know it, it's, it's gonna be football season before you know it. So expansion team gonna be back. So, I think we're gonna we gonna we we're we gonna have that on Patreon too. You know, the expansion team football season gonna, gonna be here before you know it. But just man, thank y'all, man. And um, that's it. I'm pretty much done with this one. Uh, for, hey, man, you know what I'm saying it's done. Uh, this is the y'all crazy part four slash uh, won't he do it episode. You know what I'm saying? And uh, we out of here, y'all. Peace. <laughs>